So here in the basement, uh, I just wanted to talk about some things that I ordered this last couple weeks. Where I tried to do a maiden flight on my FT Bronco. Some success and some failures there. Not really. Dead sick. But uh, overall, more success than failures. However, at the end of the day, I did lose $40 worth in parts. So, could have been worse though. Um, not too much. Lost just an antenna and a receiver. And I've got uh, replacements for both of those already. So, the Bronco's ready to go. Going to be finishing up the spec wing. And that's coming along nicely. Got that right here. Here's the bottom. Here's the top. There are nylon standoffs in there, and what I'll do is take the winglets, and I've already got the holes drilled in, and I'll just embed them with two nylon screws. So in a heavy crash, the screw heads break off, and I have spare nylon screws with me, and I just screw them right back in. That way, if I'm at an event and I'm flying and I crash, it's not uh, a half hour or more waiting for glue to dry. You can see here how I've got the holes cut into the winglets. Similar mod on my video aerial systems wyvern here. I have the nylon bolts screwed into the standoffs here on the winglets so that way it stays on. I've crashed this plenty of times as this mud shows and each time I'll only pop one or more of these nylon bolts off instead of ripping the whole thing and cracking the wing. So this uh, will be finishing up soon and uh, doing another video on that. I've got the Nano Sky Hunter. That one's working again. Um, you can see that up here. I reattached the broken boom section on it and got a little bit more laminate where it needed it and fixed the voltage regulator. Regulator that I was using, um, I noticed the camera wasn't powering on, so I checked it and the ground connection that plugs into the LiPo had come undone. Got a shipment from FPV headquarters. They hooked me up with some uh, really useful stuff. We got a 433 uh, IB Crazy video aerial systems dipole here for my long range system since I lost one of my antennas in that crash with the Bronco. Various bits of wire, 16 and 14 gauge wire. Silicone coated, makes it nice and flexible, great for all sorts of builds. We got heat shrink, two different sizes. We got half inch, one inch clear tubing. Great for wrapping ESCs. Replacement DTF UHF six channel receiver. Since mine got uh, pulled off in the crash with the Bronco. The other box I got from is Ready Made RC. So that's where I got these props from. I also got the uh, new Menace antennas, the new uh, Pagoda antennas. I, for some reason, ordered one in left hand and one in right hand, instead of ordering both in uh, the same direction so I could test them out as a pair. But that's all right, I'll still make use out of them, may just order uh, an additional one in the future. Probably end up ordering some Farview kits and make my own since they're so easy to do. These look pretty good though for I think uh, maybe a little, a little over $12 an antenna. It's uh, all going to come down to performance though. Some uh, thin um, coax cable for projects. SMA connectors and elbows for making adapters and extensions. And additional prop adapters for the Bronco. I already used two of them from this bag and that's what's going to go on there and these are spares for other motors. Got a 40 amp Hobby Wing ESC. I had some order on order from AliExpress, but they still haven't arrived yet, so I went ahead and ordered one from uh, California. An old Fly Sky USB adapter. Uh, I did a build a drone course a couple days ago, and everyone ended up with some Hobby King controllers, so if Anyone wants to program them or add expo but doesn't want to buy the controller, they can just contact me so I can help them out. 
know how he's an expert? He uses a jetty. <laughs> That's a different YouTube channel. 